None of us are actually from there, we're based there, okay. but um, these two guys are from Long Island and John and I are from upstate New York. New York is just like, nothing really competes with that. There's very good food in Brooklyn. 70% of the restaurants in New York and Brooklyn are like pretty good and like, I don't know, 40% in upstate, something like that. So there's, there's definitely better food. Corzo, that's, Corzo. that's one. They do uh, deep fried hamburgers. It's uh, <laughs> Slovakian. Okay. Yeah, so they kind of wrap a, uh, a hamburger that's been on the grill in dough and then deep fry it with all the toppings inside already. It's not greasy at all? Or it's anything? incredibly greasy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like as greasy as you'd think, but it's yeah. still like... There's a uh, pure bird in Park Slope. Yep. That has uh, Amish free range organic chicken products. Mm. Uh, very good. Very Always good. a win. Um, there's also a deli right near there called Fifth Avenue Market that has AKA wonderful. A fancy deli. That has very good sandwiches. <laughs> I AKA recommend. A wall of chips. I recommend the Mr. Chicken. Fat Farm is pretty good too. P H A T. That's another sandwich Thrasher. at the fancy deli. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's another sandwich name. There's uh, a ton of great barbecue. Yes. Really? Yeah. Dinosaur store barbecue, yeah. Morgan's. Post rehearsal, we often hit barbecue spots. Oh, nice. It's <laughs> tough to cook when you're on the road just because you're in the kitchen. Yeah. But um, when we were in London, we had a kitchen. And when we were in Austin for South yeah. by Southwest, Russ here nice is an excellent cook and the hooked us up most mornings and nights. I, I enjoy the challenge of going off the cuff with whatever is available. Right. And um, so it's, it's always a matter of going to a grocery store, seeing what's fresh, mm -hmm. and just trying to make something work out of what I find. I feel like at home, uh, we all like, you know, obviously try to eat healthy, but sometimes it doesn't happen. But on tour, we like really try to eat healthy. We try to eat healthy, but then we're happen. really like sucked into like, oh, we're in Buffalo, we have to get Buffalo wings. Right. So, like, you know, yeah. you have to like try all the regional cuisines right. that are like usually pretty bad for you. <laughs> wings. Wings. Yeah. Love chicken wings. wings. As well. <laughs> yeah. What else? Like. I don't know, like I had a Quiznos sandwich today, which is very for good. For breakfast. Uh, for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best thing for you, but, you know. Everybody else went to Starbucks. <laughs> I feel like the food is such an important thing on the road, though. Like, we, we do make a point of finding really great spots that kind of, you know, can it can do a lot for morale mm -hmm. to, to have a great meal. Yeah. And uh, we ask around. We ask people working at venues and um, locals what they recommend. Uh, New Orleans, probably? Yeah. We went to this great place. What was that called? Mother's. Mother's. The Ooh. seafood plate at Mother's is like... <laughs> really fresh? It, it's very fresh. It's very heavy. It's, <coughs> it's um, like fried crawfish and oysters oh. and... Catfish, and then uh, etouffee. etouffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just. Also, we were in London about two weeks ago, and so so much fish and chips. The fish and chips, <laughs> and like the meat pies were like yeah. amazing, and steak and ale pie. Woo! So <laughs> a lot of bangers and mash. We eat well. We're a band that eat, eats well. I'd say.
Oh god, see, <laughs> I love sandwiches very much, and um, it's hard to name just one because you could go with the, the tuna melt with things <laughs> on it. Which I'm very passionate about fish. I can see. It's very passionate. You know, you can do tuna with cheese and maybe pickles and, and that kind of thing. You can go that direction. You can also go like the Italian sandwich, you know, with the, with the meats and the cheeses and the things. That's a whole thing, and then your your chicken parmesan sandwiches, a whole nother thing, and that kind of leads to the meatball sandwich, um, and uh, and from there, you know, you got your turkey sandwich, and, and with a turkey sandwich, you could really do anything, you know. Yesterday, I had a turkey sandwich that had cream cheese on it. Who knew? You know, you could do that, and that happened. Am I missing sandwiches that I love? Philly cheesesteak sandwiches are wonderful, which we do when we're in Philadelphia. Um, we've had a lot of Rubens, a lot of Cubans. Great Cubans in Michigan the other day. Right? So, uh, oh, were they in Edinburgh? Okay. I didn't have one, so I. Yeah, I used to live in it Miami. Wasn't Miami. Sort of day. Yeah. Oh, I like kind of a like a complicated egg sandwich. Egg, egg like, salad. Well, no, like Fried eggs, egg. like eggs. <laughs> oh, like bacon, okay. avocado, okay. spinach. Like a hearty egg sandwich. Yeah. In New York, in New York. We just call them egg sandwiches, but oh, okay. here, uh, elsewhere, I guess people say breakfast sandwiches. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like that's the case. <laughs> I love the like classic New York Italian chicken cutlet, roasted red peppers, balsamic vinegar, fresh mozzarella. That's nice. like from Parisi Bakery. That's, that's the joke. <laughs> I guess my favorite, back in New York, I always get the mortadella sandwich, mm -hmm. which is kind of like bologna, but it's kind of like a fancy bologna mixed with pistachio, I think. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. And then avocado. Just, you, you got to throw avocado always. on a sandwich and then it's always good. Always. Yeah. yeah. We were actually like just talking about this the other day. I think. Like how much they tie into each other. I didn't hear that conversation, but I'll go and say like that in both things, there's like a fair amount of creativity and imagination that goes into making a product that's unique and you know special, both in music and in food, um, and also just like how people consume both. You know, you're either someone who just eats to, to live, or you're someone who kind of lives to eat, and I think there's that kind of thing with music also, the way uh, uh, people can be. You know, passionate about music or just casual music listeners. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's like they're you're making something in the moment with both music and food. Were we talking about it because of that Mario Batali series? I think so. Yeah. So Mario Batali has a, has a new series that's actually filmed in Bushwick in Brooklyn, where he brings in some of his favorite musicians and they sit and chat. The musician will play a tune and then he'll cook in real time for them. Oh, and nice. and what he uh, prepares is kind of informed by what they, you know, perform or what they discuss. It's an awesome series. I think they're so closely linked. Isn't Live at Daryl's house also like oh, a yeah. Kind of cooking? Yeah. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He like makes them That's a great show. Yeah. yeah. Or they call it a chef on that makes food. put out a new EP called 2M2H uh, that we're really proud of and we hope people like it. Okay, thanks for chatting with us and good luck for the, on the rest of your tour and we'll see you on stage tonight. Thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks guys. Guys.